Hi everyone, how are you doing? Coming at you with another story time. Um, I wanted to tell you guys a story I had. Um, the name the name of this story time was I was told to bleach my skin. So I was told, literally, told someone told me that I should bleach my skin with bleaching cream. Like I kid you not. And um, at first when they told me this, you know, it didn't affect me that much because, you know, the society that we live in really does have, you know, preference for, um, it has preference for a certain skin tone, light skin, this, light like skin, light like skin, light like skin, light like skin, you know, light like skin, light like skin, light like skin, you know. And so at first when he told me, he was, he looked me in my face and said, bleach, you need to bleach your skin. Now, let me tell you, when he first told me this, I didn't think anything, but I laughed it off at first. I said, huh, as if, like, that's not my thing. I don't do that, you know, but it was, like, basically by a local member of my choir, and we were, like, at a party, and it was at a big big hall, and it was, like, the pastor, they were celebrating their 10th year anniversary, and so all the choir members walked by, and all the different church members walked by, they spoke, hey, how are you? Everybody's eating, mingling, dancing, drinking, having a good time, you know? And so he comes over here and says, like, oh, what are you eating, this and that? And then he says, I think you should bleach. Like, I kid you not. Like, on my way, it was actually after the party was over on my way out. Or it could have been inside. But he said that to me. And I was so shocked when he said that to me. I was like, why would you insult and disrespect me like that? Like, I couldn't believe I was so offended, you know? And as a young Christian single, um, I'm trying to live my life according to the word of God. And I'm trying to live my life according to the shape, you know, according to Rick Warren's purpose driven life. So trying to live my life according to, you know, the word of God and be as much as a Christian born again, new believing Christ woman in Christ Jesus. And, you know, I'm a Nigerian woman and bleaching is very common within the Nigerian community. Um, growing up, I saw it in church a lot. Like I would see women, they would be bleached. Like you could see like their hands and feet would be dark and then their face would just be white, like Mariah Carey white and uh, everybody, everywhere else would still be dark. And I used to see, I would be so disgusted when I saw it. I look, I said, why would somebody do that to themselves? And only I think it doesn't even look good. It's like, you're not even doing it like evenly. Like, why would you just lighten your face and your neck? And then sometimes like they would lighten their face, but they wouldn't lighten their neck. Their neck would be dark and their face would be just extra yellow. <laughs> And then sometimes they just like goblins, like ghosts. It just looks so artificial. It is like, it just, it look horrible. Like I was just looking at them thinking that's so horrible. Like I just, I hate bleaching. It's just not my thing. Like I don't knock people who do it, but it's just not my thing. It's not something I agree with, you know. I'm a Nigerian woman, and although it's very common in our community, it's something that I'm against and something I don't stand for, and it's something I'm not going to do because I'm just, you know, not not into all of that. And, you know, with all my years of education and all, all everything I learned in psychology 101, I learned how to love the skin that I'm in. I read this book, and it's written by author Sharon G. Flake. And the book is entitled The Skin I'm In. It's a beautiful book about a beautiful, dark, chocolate-skinned girl. She suffers from insecurities about her skin complexion and she draws and she draws strength from a new teacher that comes to the school to teach. So this new teacher, she's sassy, she's bold, she's confident, and she she is disfigured facially. She has a facial deformity that is so severe that it causes people to stare and gawk at her, you know. She faces ridicule and in spite of that mockery. She is still sassy, bold, and confident. So the dark chocolate girl in the story, she watches this teacher. And as she's watching this teacher, she draws so much confidence from her and decides to emulate her and thinks, I want to be like her. You know, a very, very, very confident woman. You know, I'm confident, I'm bold, but Sometimes I really do have a hard time, like, in social situations, like, minor, like, social anxiety. I just kind of, like, freak out. Like, I've really been trying to, like, work on myself and develop myself, you know, because I think a personality is, that's what life is about, is learning how to live peacefully with all men, which is what it says in the Word of God. We're supposed to learn how to get along with one another, live with one another, fellowship with one another, learn how to settle conflict together, enjoy life together, and things like that, you know. And so... I'm a rebel and so instead of bleaching and lightening like I don't believe in bleaching I don't believe in lightening but I do believe in toning my skin and I believe that there's a huge difference between 
bleaching and completely totally changing your skin color and deep pigmenting which is so harmful and actually toning and by toning i mean maintaining my original skin tone and preventing like a suntan and so i'm just grateful that you know i don't have any like severe skin deformities and so some of the products that i use are i have some products that i use for my skin although i can't find my other product but these are some of the products that I use that have just been, you know, very beneficial for my skin. And it's like, it works really well. These are some of the products that I use. Um, we have, um, I don't know if you guys have heard of this. It's a very, very good product. I actually really, really like this soap. Um, this is the packet right here. Um, this soap. It's by... Um, called dodo osin and it's like african black soap and so that's one of the products that i use um there's skin success daily skin brightener and this is actually my main product that i use a lot is ambi daily even and clear daily moisturizer and i also use pc pca skin pigment gel all of these products are natural products there's no hydroquinone in there's no hydroquinone in any of these products all of these products are made from natural products um oxybenzene oxytonoxate this is made this soap is made from natural ingredients that are naturally grown out of the ground and all of these products is um natural products and the Pigment gel is made from lactic acid, which is a natural substance that is created by your digestive system. So it's something our body naturally generates. All it does is helps to tone your skin, helps you to keep your original skin tone, and to help you prevent like a suntan. So all of these products, they're not like damaging because a lot of these bleaching, I just hate bleaching. I think it's hor horrifying. A lot of these bleaching products, they have all kind of toxins. They, they mix all kind of mercury and unsafe dangerously high levels of hydroquinone in these products and it's just not it's not good for you it's not healthy it can enter into your bloodstream and cause you to have all types of problems and um i'm just not a fan of it at all you know and like anytime i see somebody that bleaches like the, i don't like the thoughts that go through my head when i see them you know it's just something that i don't advocate doing it at all period i am not i personally no matter what anybody says it does, I'm not going to bleach my skin, period. You know, um, God taught me. God taught me through his word. He taught me through his word to love the skin that I'm in. So I believe that, you know, I believe in God and I believe that God is real. And I believe that God made people of all different shapes, of different sizes, of different colors, of different tones. And he gave everyone their own distinctive set of characteristics. Like, I learned to accept myself, to love all parts of me, listening to, you know, certain songs by uh, Flaws and All by Beyonce, where she's talking about all her areas, you know, her flaws, and just learning to embrace and love every aspect of her, even the flawed parts of her. So to love the most flawed parts of myself, that's why I can love you as well. So I believe that God meant for some people to be introverts and some to be extroverts, and that God made some people tall, some people short, God made some people beautiful, and God made me and created me in this image and looked at me and said, in his very own image and likeness, he created man. He looked at man and said that it is good. So listening to, you know, India Reese's Beautiful Flower and her uh, and her other song entitled Video, um, these two beautiful songs are about, they're about self-acceptance about confidence, you know, being a Christian, a spirit being, I don't identify myself by the standards of this society. I identify myself with the positive traits and characteristics associated with being a Christian. So I don't bleach. I'm okay with my God-given skin tone. And there are dangers that are associated with skin bleach products. Um, one of these issues that you can have with bleaching is there's something you can develop referred to as acronosis. And it's a very dangerous disfigurement of the skin that causes dark and blue gray patches that can form and it can look very disfiguring and you just form like these giant patches of blue gray skin and it's just it's very disfiguring you know so i believe that everyone should you know just be grateful take what you have and make the most of it so because in the word of god it says in all things give that praise just be grateful and have a thankful heart 
So before telling me to bleach, before telling me to bleach, the same guy that told me to bleach was the same guy that asked me repeatedly to fornicate with him as well. And that's a no, no. Why? Because that's against the word of God. So I just figured like this guy, if he wants to bleach his own skin, then that's his problem. So anyway, I joined this organization and the organizers, they started like this skin tone battle. And so it was like they were just putting like different skin tones against this dark skin versus light skin. Like things that are so elementary that we don't, we're grown adults now. Like I don't think we should still be battling with, you know, carnality and things of this world. You know, we are in this world, but not of this world. And so put it 